Ashto T255 and ASTM C566 are the standard method of test for total evaporable moisture of aggregates by drying. Determining the moisture content of your aggregates is critical to maintaining quality and uniformity in batch-to-batch -batch concrete production. The designed batch weights must be adjusted if there is a change in the total evaporable moisture content of the aggregates. However, in general, this method measures the sample more reliably than the sample can be made to represent the aggregate supply. And there is no time specification for Ashto T255. Instead, the sample is dried until further heating causes or would cause less than 0.1% additional loss in mass. It takes longer for the moisture to move from the interior of a larger particle than it does a smaller particle. Furthermore, rapid heating may cause particles to explode. The possibility of explosions also exists with microwaves due to the presence of certain minerals within the aggregate. When using a hot plate, the process can be expedited using denatured alcohol and fire. However, caution must be exercised, so please refer to Ashto T255, Section 7.3, for the exact procedure. And it should be noted that it is unknown if these quick drying procedures provide accurate results on larger particles. The sample size for this procedure will vary based on the nominal maximum aggregate size. Please refer to Table 1 for the sample sizes of normal weight aggregates. To perform this test, we will need a scale readable to 0.1% of the sample mass. We will also need a container of sufficient size to hold the sample. And we'll need a source of heat, such as an oven, hot plate, or microwave. If using a microwave, remember that metallic containers are not permitted. And finally, we'll need a spoon or a spatula. Let's now go through the performance review of Ashto T255 and ASTM C566 total evaporable moisture content of aggregate by drying. When testing for moisture, we want to ensure that the sample we obtain is representative of the aggregate supply. A sample must be obtained at least as large as that required in Ashto T255 Table 1. Be sure that a container is provided large enough to hold this sample. Now determine the mass of the sample to the nearest 0.1% using a scale which is sensitive enough for the size of the sample. After determining the mass of the moist sample, we want to dry the sample by heat, avoid overheating, scorching, or other alterations that may occur to the aggregate particles during this process. If a hot plate is used, stir the sample to uniformly dry the sample, avoiding loss of material during the stirring process. After heating, make successive readings to ensure that the sample has dried sufficiently. Successive readings should show less than 0.1% additional loss in mass to indicate that the sample is dried sufficiently. It is important to note that these are simply readings and not the mass of the sample after drying. The mass of the sample after drying is not taken until after the sample has had sufficient time to cool. Record this number to the nearest 0.1%, and like all data, record this number promptly. We can now calculate the total evaporable moisture content by drying via the following equation, where P is the total evaporable moisture content in percent, 
W is the weight of the original sample in grams, and D is the mass of the dry sample in grams. As an example, let's assume that the mass of the original sample was 504 grams, and the mass of the sample after drying was 494 grams. Here we would take the 100 and multiply it by the difference between the original mass of the sample and the mass of the sample after drying, which in this case would be 10. Therefore, we would have 1,000 divided by 494 grams, which would equal 2% total evaporable moisture. Surface moisture is simply the difference between the total evaporable moisture and the absorption of the aggregate. So here, if we had 2% total evaporable moisture and the absorption of our aggregate was 0.9%, we take the 2% minus the 0.9%, we would have 1.1% surface moisture on our aggregates. And finally, there are no significant differences between AASHTO and ASTM for this procedure. And this will conclude AASHTO T255 and ASTM C566, Total Evaporable Moisture of Aggregates by Drying.